The waters around the Antarctic Peninsula are not only home to unique marine animals, but also to their means of survival. They eat krill, a key species in the Southern Ocean's ecosystem. But all this is in danger of extinction because of overfishing around the Antarctic Peninsula, which is why the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Resources is being asked to approve a proposal for the creation of a marine protected area around the peninsula. The science has been showing that the Antarctic is particularly um, delicate, but also very important for the whole world. Why do you say that the Antarctica is so important for the rest of the world? This current called the Humboldt Current is actually a current that comes from the Antarctica, and it brings all this cold, rich water on um, microorganisms, but also very rich in oxygen uh, because it's cold. So the current also creates um, a huge amount of life uh, for a much bigger area than just Antarctica. The only way to actually uh, have more fish even in the future or to have life in this planet is actually to protect some of those places that are key for the uh, balance of this planet. For the third year in a row, Chile and Argentina are jointly asking the annual meeting of the commission to declare parts of the peninsula off limits to commercial fishing. The Southern Ocean's unique environment supports species that can't be found anywhere else on the planet. So the idea is to manage in a different way the, the fishery and the activities that are occurring in the area by um, designing this uh, MPA that uh, includes some areas uh, commonly called uh, non-take zones where, where the fishery will not be allowed. But there's resistance, particularly from Russia and China. Argentina says there's no time to lose. Argentina and Chile have taken the initiative because if something is not done soon, it will be all of humanity that will be damaged. We ask the countries that are considering vetoing this proposal not to do so because we need this. Humanity needs this. His plea for the rational use of marine resources is backed by all the best available science, which in the past has been the guiding light for the 26 Commission members. But for some countries, that may not be enough. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.